Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I'm gonna do my monthly favorites. Um, it's really hard to believe that October is actually over. Um, and for some reason, I have a lot of favorites. Um, yeah, not exactly sure why. Actually, I guess the beginning of, I, I didn't have that many favorites for the month of September. So the beginning of October, I told myself I was going to try and be very conscious of what I wear or what I wore um, for the four weeks of October so that I would have more to talk about at the end of the month. Um, and I actually wrote them down in my planner. I have a planner that I keep and I you know, fill it in weekly. Um, so I would write them down like every week what I was uh, wearing. And so that kind of collectively <laughs> made a bunch of stuff that I have to go over. So I've actually got kids stuff, cleaning stuff, makeup, and some food items. Um, anyhow, I will go ahead and start with my makeup. Now, there's a lot. Um, one of the biggest things that I have to talk about is, and I rave about it all the time, is actually my Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Plus. Um, this one right here. And I have had this over a year. I bought it um, during a, like, VIB sale last year. I got 20% off and that was why I bought it. Um, before this, I was using Chanel's Matte Lumiere. It may not have been Matte Lumiere. It was a matte foundation. Um, and it's actually in an old packaging, so it's probably a little older than the Matte Lumiere. Anyhow, that was my go-to formal... I call it my formal foundation because I only use it when um, I have to get, you know, super dressed up, like for an event or, you know, anything like that. If it's regular, like today, I just have on my Revlon Color Stay. Um, so I do that, you know... Th this one is a little bit more expensive than, you know, a drugstore one, um, but also... If I was to wear it every single day, I would probably fall out of love with it because that's how I am. I am so funny about certain things. Um, if it's something that I wear every single day and it just becomes part of my like daily routine, I seem not to give it as much importance. Whereas if it's a special occasion thing, then I, I love it. You know, it's like it's like a treat. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> that's probably weird. But this Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Plus, because you guys know that I wanted to... Everybody was raving about this Neutrogena healthy skin makeup and so I bought it and tried it and it sucked and now I can't return it because I'm stuck with it anyhow that just made me love it all the more um, aside from that uh, my friend Teresa 777 got some and then um, Prissy from Prissy and Pink had been telling us that she found like this new holy grail foundation and she was so excited about it and I was so excited to know what it was and then um, she kind of went the whole month and really didn't say anything else about it and we were kind of getting a little antsy like okay what is it we just want to know what your foundation is um, and then she actually messaged me and she said it's the one you already have it's the makeup forever and I was like really I mean I was like waiting for this um, foundation that you know I had never tried before that she was in love with and then it was that one and I was like oh my goodness I've got that you know why can't I just be happy with what I have and it is an excellent foundation and I really love it. And I'm excited that both of them have it too because sometimes you feel like maybe it's just me and the fact that Prissy loves it kind of, you know, it, it tells me that it is a good foundation and that I should always just be in love with that one and never trying, never try to find something better, I guess. And that's what I do. I try to, you know, even though I have something good, I want something better. It's, that's, I don't know, human nature mostly. Anyhow, so. That is my first favorite. Um, I love it. I mean, I really do. I don't wear it every day, but I absolutely love it. That's that one. Next up is... Ooh, I've got so much. I should have organized these a lot better. So much stuff. Let's put no polishes up here. Sorry. I'm organizing now. Okay. Um, you guys know that I am a lip product fanatic. I have these two. This has always pretty much been a favorite. Pangea Organics Lip Balm. Got this in a birch box last year. I have repurchased two of these things because I use them every single day. This one is the Egyptian Fennel Grapefruit Sweet Orange. I carry this with me. I have to smell it. Yes, it smells good. I carry this with me. Sorry, I was checking on my, my son. Um, carry this with me every day. This goes in my diaper bag or in my purse regard, you know, regardless of where I'm going. Every day. All the time. This is what I use throughout the day for my lips. Now, at night, um, you know, you've got your night routine, you wash your face, you get out of the shower, blah, blah, blah. 
This one stays in my um, nightstand. It's the Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm. Absolutely love the way it smells. It smells like honey and beeswax. I mean, just really good. Uh, but that stays in that, and this is what I wear at night when I sleep on my lips. So, those two products. Then, I got this Be Fine Lip Serum with Chamomile Beets in my Birch Box this um, last month in September's box. And I like it, and what I learned is it comes as a duo with another one. It's a lip scrub and this one. They come together. Um, Birch Box only sent this one, so I don't know. I don't know, you know. But I was kind of like, okay, why would you send just the lip serum but not the other partner? That's weird. Anyhow, I've got a lip scrub already that I bought. This is the Bubblegum, Lush's Bubblegum Lip Scrub. And this is so good. Um, it smells delicious. It tastes delicious. My daughter gets into this and uses it. And you can, I mean, she hasn't even put a dent in it. We both use it. And I just leave it on my counter because I feel like if she were to use too much of it, I wouldn't be too upset because, I mean, I've been using it for like six months and I still have not put a dent into how much product it is. I mean, it's lasting me that long. So I let her use it um, freely. She loves it. Um, she feels like she's treating herself. So that's what I use. And then I put this on top and I love the way that it feels. This comes, like I said, with its own lip scrub. Um, but since I didn't send it, I improvised with my Lush one and I actually really do enjoy it. There's those two. Now, for the rest of the month on my lips. Right now, I've got on Max and Sync Lip Pencil, which I, um, I don't wanna say stole, but I ordered because I saw Teresa have it from Risa, Risa, from Risa 777. And uh, I love it, I really do love it. It is the perfect lip pencil for so many different reasons. If you wear it alone, it's just this really pretty, almost apricot-y pink. If you layer it under pink lipsticks, it gives a new, it just brings new life into your pink lipsticks that you have. You know, it brings like an orange kind of tint to it. So, love that. And right now I've got that on with NARS Turkish Delight on top. NARS Turkish Delight I've had for a while. I like it. I like the color. If it was that color, I would just absolutely adore it. Um, which, that's what this is on its own. Flat. It's like the flat version of this. Um, yes, that's what I'm going to say that that's because that's that's I kind of want to get this color out of this when I put it on and it goes on so sheer that I don't ever get this color. Well, together I get this color. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Nar NARS Turkish Delight on its own. I really can't stand. It's supposed to be, you know, that Kim Kardashian favorite and really pretty, pretty pink. It goes on and then kind of separates into the lines of my lips. I never can get it to look really pretty. I don't think that's the only thing she uses. And I hate that because I think if I was a star, like, you know, if you were famous, I would want to tell everybody what I wore um, all the time because I don't know, that's just how I am. It's like, oh yeah, that's what I use, you know, or here's my website, here's what I have on my face. So you guys know, I don't know, whatever. Anyhow, that's just me because I'm like open like that. But, um, so like I said, alone on its own, I, I really can't stand it. But with this together, I love it. And I love it layered over other um, lipsticks, but on its own, it just needs something. Okay, so there's those two. Now, first week of October, I wore the crap out of my Rimmel's Airy Fairy because it smells so good. So, wore that like crazy. Oh, let me swatch it so you guys can see. Oop, there it is. Okay, swatched. Okay. Second week of October, or of September, I keep saying October, Max Snob, which, Snob, yeah, you guys know it. More pink, there it is right there. The last week of October has pretty much always all been this in sync. not October, of September, I'm so sorry, with NARS Turkish Delight over it. So there's in sync lip pencil with NARS Turkish Delight. This last week of September, why do I want to say, what month is it? It's October. No, it's November now. The last month, of, the last week of October. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk today. Last week of October uh, was this Revlon's Primrose. Now, the reason I even bought Revlon's Primrose is because of Vanessa on ballet and pink roses she wears it a lot and loves it and there it is and it's a very very pretty color so it yeah 
you guys know that I love my little pinks like that. Any shade of pink, I just adore. So she wears that a lot, and I picked it up because of her. It is a beautiful color. I really do like it. There's those two. That is my favorite for lip products. My favorites for lip products for the four weeks of October. Now, for mascaras. You guys know I bought my Chanel eyelash curler, and I rave by it. I love it. I have been trying all my foundations, over, my foundations, all my mascaras over again in an effort to use them up because I buy them and then hate them and then don't use them, so I buy another one. I have been loving every single one that I bought because of my Chanel curler. It just makes my lashes go woo, so I like all the ones that I hated. First one is the Bare Essentials Booksome Lash. I've had this, hated it because I just didn't think it did anything to my lashes. Here's the brush. It's kind of big, which is partly why I don't like it because it's big makes it go all over my lid and not necessarily on my lashes. But I absolutely love it now with my Chanel eyelash curler because it whoop, curls up. Um, and then this is the one that I typically use and love. I mean, it's like my go-to one, the Voluminous Million Lashes by L'Oreal. There's a little brush and I like it. Um, it is thicker than what I normally would go for in a brush, but I don't get it all over my lid, which I like. And then lastly, the Maybelline, the Falsies Volume Express. This is the one without anything. I didn't know about that, but this is Black Drama. It just says Black Drama right there. Love this thing. Um, I love it. The brush is tiny, so it gets on my little bitty lashes, and I love it. I will do literally four coats, and I love it. I mean, yeah, I just pile that on. <laughs> um, okay, so then... You guys know I wear my walking on eggshells or my shimmering sands or the Cafe Olay every day during the week. Now what I've been doing is putting one of these palettes on, all three of them, and then going back in to deepen up my, my outer crease with Max Cork, which looks like that, or Max Espresso, which is just a darker brown. I use either of those two, like I said, on the outer crease, and it just uh, kind of you know, those, those palettes are very subtle. It kind of brings them out more, the colors more. So, loving that. Um, the other thing I've been loving is, I have it on right now, this color right here. This is a NARS palette. This color right here, which is called Ondine. Yeah, Ondine. It's so pretty. It's like a, it's a shimmery kind of purple taupe, if that makes any sense. It's taupey, but it's purple at the same time. So it's very, very pretty. Um, I'm actually going to wear this color. It is called Surabaya 2. That color uh, to a wedding I'm going to this weekend with a fuchsia dress. There is the brown. It's a very pretty brown. It's super, super pretty. So that's an old, it's an older NARS palette that I've had for a while, but I always go back to those colors because I absolutely adore them. And here they are swatched. There's the purpley taupe, and then there's the brown. The brown is really pretty. It's super pigmented. Now, uh, for blush, I got one of these Coastal Scents palettes, blush palettes. I'm loving it. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. I have used every single shade of these blushes um, over the course of October and just loved every single one of them. My absolute favorite has to be this baby pink. I love that. And believe it or not, this one too, which is really, really pretty. Um, it's pink, and it doesn't look so pink, but it's pink. Gorgeous. So, loving those. Okay. Now, you guys know I am super oily. I swear by my oily foundations. Now, the one thing that I do use throughout the day, not every day, but, you know, I don't know. Some days I want to touch up, some days I don't. I carry around this with me. It is Urban Decay's D-Slick. And that is my mattifying powder. It comes like this, and it's just a white. It's like a blue, blue white powder, and that mattifies my skin. And I love, I love the way it, you know, it doesn't change anything. It just takes the oil away, which I love. So I carry that with me around everywhere. Next up, the four nail polishes of um, October. Of course, my Chanel. What's it called again? <laughs> Graphite, oh my goodness. Chanel Graphite, that was the first week of October. The second week of October was Matt, uh, Essie's Chinchilli, which is a gray color that I really love. I love this color all the time. 
the uh, third week was, I asked you guys in a video whether I should do gold or navy, and y'all said navy, but I did gold because I couldn't find the navy. So I did Orly's gold in Luke's, which was really, really pretty. And then the last week of October, I found my Essie um, the navy blue. So that's what I did, and it's Essie's Midnight Cami, which I really do like. Um, it does have a little shimmer in the bottle, but it really does not look shimmery on your fingers. Goes on super, super well. I took it off, and I've had blue, you can see in here, I've had blue cuticles for four days, um, and I've been you know, trying to clean them up every day. Uh, because for the wedding that I told you I'm wearing this color, this eyeshadow color too, I don't want to do anything too dramatic on my nails, so I'm thinking of going with like a nude color. So I'm just trying to get my nails cleaned up so that that nude doesn't look weird with the blue cuticle. Anyhow, beautiful color. I do love it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's the navy that I'm after or if there's another navy that I need. You know, like I have this idea of a navy in my head and this is super close. And I don't know if it is it or if there's something else out there that is it, if that makes any sense. So I know my friend Stacy from Stacy K76 picked up a Revlon color. Yes, honey, from the grocery store. Um, she picked up a Revlon navy blue and she says it's a true navy. So I might check that one out um, just to see if it is the navy that I need or if this is it after all. I don't know. Does that make sense? It's weird. So those were the four nail polish colors of the month. Oh, it's going funny, huh? Why is it doing that? I'm coming, brother. Okay. Next up, Coastal Sense was kind enough to send a brush palette. Not a brush palette. A, um, their 22-piece brush set. And I have been trying each one of these brushes out because they sent, they sent two. They sent one for me, and then they sent me one to give away. So this is going to be my next giveaway. It's not going to be on this video, though. But it comes like this, all rolled up. And there are the brushes. And here, let me lift the flap. There are the brushes. And there's 22 of them. And they're like everything you could possibly need. They're so awesome. Um, and so I've been trying them out in an effort to kind of get an idea of what they would be used best for. And keep in mind, I am not a professional makeup artist. I just do my makeup how it looks good on me. Um, so some of these brushes, you know, other people would use differently. This is how I use some of them though, but my um, absolute favorite blush brush comes from this palette, and this is it. It's like a duo fiber for your blush, and I absolutely adore it. My other blush brush, when I would put it on, would lift some of the foundation off of my face, so you would see, like I have freckles, you would see the freckles through my blush. This one does not do that, and I absolutely adore it. Um, the other one is this fan brush. Look how big that is. I absolutely adore it, and they are super, super soft. This one for just placing powder, like packing powder on to my face, I love. And I love all of them. This is like the foundation brush. I love that one. I still have to pat you know, my foundation in after I apply it with that to get the lines off, but I like how it applies. The next one of my absolute favorites is this one, and they call it their dome shadow brush. I used this in my last tutorial, and I use it every day now to apply color right in here. And that is what I use to apply that NARS purple that I showed you right here. And it's just the perfect size for my crease right in here. It gives me a perfect line that I then blend out. But these are my absolute favorite new brushes. And like I said, I'm going to do a giveaway for you guys with this. So there's that. But that'll be, like I said, another video. Um, not this one. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, next up, before this is too long, it's Play-Doh, honey. Uh, next up, before, this video is like ridiculous. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll do another video with um, the rest of my favorites, because there's too many to finish in this one. So, talk to you guys later in video two. Bye-bye.